Crafty Peace is Angel Holt with Angel Holt's Designs. I received this beautiful altered book uh, from a fan many months ago, and I've kept it on my shelf because it was too beautiful to use or, or anything. But what was unique about this book is that it's a ribbon holder, and it holds many different beautiful styles of ribbon. And I thought what a great tutorial it would be to show you how to make one yourself. And then you can give them as a gift. You can do them as a swap. You can do anything. And this is going to be a two-part tutorial, meaning it's going to be two separate videos. One to show you how to put the book together. And the other one will be about decorating the book. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how to build the book and also show you how to create the um, hidden binding system, which is really simple. Um, and I'm going to show you how to create the pages for the book in the first video. In the second one, we're going to do all about uh, decorating and creating some handmade embellishments and using some of the very laces um, that was given to me. Uh, to uh, decorate the book in which I'm going to uh, make. So um, just sit back and enjoy the process. Also, there will be a template for free on my blog for uh, the, uh, the page. Um, I'll have a template where you can download it and print it out, and then you can take that pattern and make several pages to go in there. Also, I will have all of the measurements on that same template, so everything will be there for you. And also, you can reference these videos in um, near future or whenever you decide you want to make um, this book. But the template will always be on my blog. And if you have any trouble downloading the template, I can email it to you or send it to you through a message or whatever. But I wanted to show you how to make this because... Um, Christmas is coming close. Yes, I mentioned the taboo word. And uh, if you have a lot of crafty people on your Christmas list, this would be a great gift to give them. And uh, you can have a bunch of these made up and um, have them ready as gifts. So I figured I'd go ahead and start and show you um, how to do everything. So let me gather my materials and I'll be right back. Okay, I have cut out six of the um, pages, and the template is going to look like this. Of course, when you print it out, it's going to print out like this, and then you're going to cut it out and use it as a pattern. Okay, so I have already um, papered both sides of the five pages, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I am using a paper collection by Prima, and it is the Garden Fable Collection. So I thought that would be really, really pretty uh, for this book and the theme of the book. So now what I'm going to do is I have two different sizes of score tape. I like score tape. It is the most used tape in any kind of book making, box making, um, anything like that because it, um, it tears really easy and it's really, really, really durable and uh, it makes your books and things um, really pretty. I mean, very clean cut and everything. So now what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead and tape both sides and as you see I'm only paying attention to the edges because the edges in this book are going to be used more because we're going to be wrapping uh, lace around so okay and then I have a um, quarter inch and I'm just going to go in to these areas here and put it down right there. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my utility blade here and remove the backing on one side.
Okay. And you're going to do this for all six pages. Okay. So now I want to choose, I'm going to do the, the roses here. You want to butt it up to the edge as much as possible because you don't want to use all your paper, only what is needed. And I'm just taking my utility blade and cutting it out. I'm not using scissors because the blade can um, cut closer to the edge. You can see there. Just like that. And there's one side. And then we're going to do the other side. And once I get this page done, we're going to create the book part. Now, I am using my pages and my book is made out of what's called basil board. Um, it's by basil, Cart basil cardstock or basil. And um, I have always used this um, chipboard for all of my book binding. It is a, is a thick strong strong chipboard and um, let me use this piece and uh, I really 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 that's my go-to chipboard um, I think you can order it from scrapbooks.com and uh, you can try Amazon as well but I order it from my distributor by the packs of 25. And that's the best way to buy it. There we go. Now we have all six of the pages done. And these will hold the laces. As you can see there, they're done on both sides. I will ink those. But now on the book, you're going to cut out of the basil board or their choice of chipboard. You, you can use chip cereal boxes, anything that you want to use to make your book out of. But I'm just using, again, basil board. Um, you're going to cut, let me get my measurements here, you're going to cut two at four and a half inches wide by six. And then you're going to cut one at two and three fourths inches wide by six. Okay, so now the hard part is choosing what I want on the cover, and I think I want these roses. I think the roses would be gorgeous. So, what you're going to do is you're going to tape up one side of each of the pieces here. All right, on the first one, and you're going to do this for all of them. On the first one, you're going to remove the backing on the tape. All right, when you lay it down, you're going to want at least a quarter of an inch to a half inch on all sides, okay? And you're going to see why in a moment. 
okay? You're going to lay that down. Then you're going to glue this side, and you're going to lay it down just like that. And then I know I'm going to be short, but I'm not worried about that because that can be hidden with the binding I'm going to put on the outside. So you'll see that in a moment. Okay, so you're going to want to keep it about an even spacing in between because you want to be able to fold your book, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing here. Now I'm sure there are 10,000 ways to do this. But this is the way I'm doing it. There are some ladies out there that do these um, professionally. This is all they do is make books and stuff. And um, there's probably a ton of tutorials on YouTube. Put a little bit right there. That will show you. A better way or um, a more efficient way I'm not claiming that I am perfect at this I make very little books and each one is a learning process for me so all right Now I'm going to lay that down right there. Okay, try to eyeball it as much as you can and lay it down. Now, right here, you can bind the book or you can use your scraps, use the scrap piece. And no one would be the wiser which is what I'm going to do, just like that. Just make sure that seam is really down. Okay, that's how you piece it together when you got scrap. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just cut that away. This is utilizing what you have. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. I don't want that much. Like that. I'm going to cut. Now what I want to do is right here at the corner, you don't want to go all the way to the corner, you just want to go a little above it and you're going to cut at an angle like that. Okay, then now you're going to bend. these pieces up like that 
And I'm going to do this side that I pieced together first. As you can see, I have a little split there. So I'm going to put some tape down right there. I'm going to do it on this side as well. Just put a little tape down. Now, you're going to want to put some tape all the way down on the edge. Okay, just like that. Okay, you're going to remove the tape backing. There we go. Now the first thing I'm going to do, press that over like that, then I'm going to press this one over. Can you still see what I'm doing? I can't see my screen. Yeah. Then I'm going to press this one over just like that. Give it a firm press. Press this piece over. And then do the same for that piece. So now, see how clean and beautiful your edges are? You see, they're all pointed and nice. Okay. So here, I'm going to... Put some tape in here, like so, and do this for the other side. And then we'll fold it and see how it turned out. But you can piece things together. If your, your paper's not wide enough or big enough, you can take a scrap and piece it together. And, um, like again, no one would be the wiser unless it's a very apparent um, pattern, like a geometric shape pattern. Um, it can be done, but I think you're going to waste more trying to do it or you can just say heck with it I'm just going to okay bring that over bring that over as much as you can Now all of this will be covered, and then you're just going to press that over, and then now you're going to give it a nice bend, and look at there. Perfect! There you go. Now we have the beginning. So. Now all these, we got to make a, the seat, you know, the endless, I mean the hidden binding system, but your pages will go in there perfectly, just like that. Now here in the center, what I'm going to do is take a piece of scrap of, I might go ahead and use, this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this scrap and I'm going to measure it at five. I'm going to do this at about, this is a six inch book, so I'm going to do a, let's do a four. 
inch book and I'm going to do five and seven eighths okay now what this is going to do it's going to hide even though our hidden binding system is going to go in the center this is going to cover that system there and remember when you put your hidden binding system in there um, the paper that you're going to cut out for the sides is going to be five and seven eighths to match the length of this. Now this is a strip, so this is the scrap for the center, and that is five and seven eighths by four and a half. So I'm going to go ahead, while I'm thinking about it, write that down real quick. Let's see, scrap in center of the book five and seven eighths by four and one half okay now on this one all you're going to do where'd my big tape oh there it is right in front of my face now here you're just going to go a little ways past the lip of the paper there just like that Then we're going to do it on this side. Then we're going to do it on this side. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to put the center in first. Like so. Okay, kind of eyeball it like that, press the center in and bend it, I'm going to do it this way and then I'm going to bend it this way just like that. And then these little flaps here, you're going to add adhesive just along this edge. You do not want to put it down in that crease. You're just going to do it along this edge here like that. You're going to do the same on the other side. Again, this is the way I do it, um, but I'm sure there's there are other um, techniques you can do. So now I'm going to remove the tape and bring it down. Even though the tape is still showing through, I know that my uh, hidden binding system is going to go in there, so I am not worried at all. And then you're going to lay this one over just like that. And now your center, as you can see there, is beautifully hidden like that. And there's your book. It's really sturdy, as you can see. Very strong and ready to hold anything you want to put in your book. So there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my mess here. And I'm going to get the stuff out to do the hidden binding system. We're going to insert it in here, and then we're going to insert the pages. Okay? All right. Nice. Turned out gorgeous. And see, you barely could tell that right there. See, it matches up. Nice. So, all right. Let me get this, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, the hidden binding system, you're going to have to look up Kathy Ortea at uh, Paper Phenomena, or you can go on YouTube and put in hidden binding system, and there are like hundreds of videos that show you how to do the hidden binding system. I would practice this system. Um, it's, you know, when I first tried it, not on this project, but on other projects, it took me like four tries to really get the hang of it. But it's really easy. But, you know, you just have to work with it. And it, Kathy shows you how to do it beautifully. And so do a lot of other crafters. Now, I've installed the uh, hidden binding system just using some score tape. And I've also installed, went ahead and installed a page to show you that how to do that. But before I finish installing the pages, I am going to um, take a, another piece of paper and hide, put it on the inside here and kind of uh, hide that, uh, you know, cover the inside and also overlap um, onto the hidden binding system for a little bit. So um, how I'm going to adhere that is with my uh, tape here. But I'm going to um, ink the edges with vintage paint. This is a Prima chalk edger and it's vintage paint. And as you can see, it matches the paper beautifully. Love, love, love these little boogers. I hope they come out with more colors. I mean, I know they've touched pretty much every color in the rainbow, but, you know, there's always room for more colors. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies are bad. Um, I do apologize. Okay, now what, um, you're just going to line it up, and then you're just going to put your tape on here like this um actually this project has been sitting on my desk for two weeks a um, lot has been going on in my family we had a death in the family and my grandmother broke her hip and i have been extremely extremely um busy helping the family and um I think now everything is settled to where I can get into doing my projects. Um, fall is almost here, which that is my most favorite time of the year. Um, I will be, I'm going to start my decorating and my fall crafting, um, along with some shabby chic, of course, and um, just going to rock it, you know. And my grandmother, she's in her re rehabilitation, and she's been, take, been taken care of very wonderfully. We are very pleased with her progress. And I've lost my tweezers. I have my little tweezers. Oh, there they are. Okay, so we're going to do this side first. I see that I already put, like, little scraps here. Okay, and all you're going to do, again, is just remove the um backing uh newbies um score tape is is a staple you need to have i have it in several different sizes it's not very expensive um a, a little goes a long way um as you can see i don't waste any scraps or whatsoever so you know that's the way it goes and I'm just going to put that on there, give it a firm press like this. And now what you're going to do where I went uh, crossed over in that seam, you're just going to bend the book and there you go. Beautiful. Okay. Again, you're going to do the same thing on this side. <clears throat> okay. Just going to remove the tape here. Okay. 
and we're going to turn it around and do the same thing on this side as well. There we go. Firm press and then just bend it. <clears throat> so now that's what we have so far with one page um, inserted. So how I've done the pages is I took, um, where's my larger, why is it, I don't know about y'all, but I could set something down on my table and that I've just used a few seconds ago and it will be gone it was like it just ran away it got legs and took off okay so the next page I'm going to do is let's see I want to kind of mix it up here let's do let's do the script one for next okay so I'm only going to do it on one side like that and then you can cut this with your scissors instead of tearing it you can cut it like that and this one could be used for another page okay give it a firm press and then you're going to butt it up and then you're going to press over like that And make sure you got it lined up and then what I do what I'm going to do is use these cute little trims from Petaloo and I'm just going to run them um, along here and then I'm going to use a fourth of an inch strip of Or tape and I'm going over I'm going over the lip of the page and onto the page um, so that I have enough okay and then you're just going to and I'm gonna leave the edges raw because it just adds to the the vintage aesthetic of the book <clears throat> okay so now you're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to pick, yeah, no, I don't want to do that one. Let's do, yeah, let's do this one next right here. I love this paper collection. Love, love, love. All right. <clears throat> Oh, I know what I forgot to do before I installed that. I'll have to go back. I am going to go ahead and ink the edges of the pages with the uh, same pink ink. Don't forget to do that. <laughs> okay. All right, and this is a uh, again a ink from Prima. I love their inks. Okay, you're going to butt it up. <clears throat> Make sure this is the way I'm going to do it. Make sure, and then you're just going to press like that. And then again, you're just going to put it along there. 
the like I said, these would make great gifts. It's kind of like a, a stocking stuffer per se. And um, you can make the book and then uh, you don't have to turn it into a lace holder. In fact, you can um, make regular pages and do a mini scrapbook for them. Uh, commemorate a, a trip y'all took or uh, you and your friends took or uh, something of that nature you know they're really really fun so this is another trim uh, from Pedaloo here that I'm using and Pedaloo has some great products as well I love their flowers too okay and now we've got Three more pages to go so now I'm going to do this pretty blue one All right, this is the last page, and that means our pages and the book assemblage of the book is finished, and now it's just time to decorate, which is the fun part, the part I like the most. Yep. All right. Check it out. Isn't that nice? And then here's all of your pages. It would be good to go through and just kind of, you know, give them a firm uh, press. I'm not doing the backs of the pages with the um, laces uh, because simply it's not going to be seen that much. And I need to go ahead and ink the edges of this one. Um, but that is the assembly of the book. And now that you have all of that done, you can begin to decorate. I just love Prima. There we go. All right, I'm going to clean up this mess and get some stuff out to decorate the book and everything. And uh, then we'll be back to finish the process. But I think it turned out beautiful. Really, really cool project. Really, really awesome idea. All right, so I'll see you in just a few. Okay. I've pulled out a bunch of flowers, I've pulled out some trims, I've even made a few uh, paper roses using some of the scraps from the paper. And all you do to make those is you just take a pair of scissors and you cut out a square and then you just cut, you know, just 
it doesn't have to be perfect and then you're going to take it and you're going to start the center and you're going to start rolling just like this all the way around and as you will see none of my swirls are perfect in fact they're different lengths different widths i mean and i'm just rolling and rolling and rolling and um there are dies out there um that already have these cut out for you but if you don't have the die like myself um i just make my own and it comes out just as pretty i think and there you go so you're going to roll it like that make sure you have pull up there like that and then once you got it rolled you're going to kind of squeeze it a little bit there like so okay you're going to let it bloom a little bit like that and then what I do is I lay it on the table like this and then I add hot glue all in the center there take the little flap or the when you got done cutting it and while the glue is still warm you just form it and there you go that's a flower now also what I've done is I took two I took an eyelet and I put it on this side and finished it off really pretty in the uh, middle and on this side so I can create a closure for the book so now it's just decorating also I pulled out um, some of the chipboard pieces and that go with this collection um, like you can you you know beautiful beautiful pieces here um, also they have some sequins in here like a, a um, just different ones I've used several out of this collection already but I figure you know I'm gonna pull some of these out you know and do that like you can put a label thing on there or just whatever you want to do I think that's what I'm use. okay so now it's just time to um, decorate this is a beautiful uh, hot pink flower that I purchased and I'm gonna make sure yeah that's what I thought uh, make sure you know what the front is all right so I'm gonna start here in the center with the flower and I kind of want it to go this way but I'm going to add some real pretty lace here along the the side I think let's see how this will look I think it'll look good so I'm just going to glue them right on there like that and just tack these on When you're working with embroidered laces like this you want to cut them to where the ends are um, usable for any next project you know okay 
do the top here. Now what I'm going to do is go along the edge here like that. So I'm going to open the book and snip off any excess. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing on this side as well. And I'm going to offset it just a little bit. Go ahead and get my get my ends going now. Just like that, then I'm just going to lift and press just like that. There. Okay. Oh, gotta glue that down. And then you're going to take another piece and do the same thing. Offset it. Just like that. that off right now till I get this tacked down. The decorating process is um, I think the easiest and the most fun. When you get all of the um, construction part done of your book Again, these would make great gifts. I'll have this one for sale in my Etsy. Um, it will be without laces. So if you want the book and fill up the laces uh, as a gift, um, that would be great. A great gift you can um, get and purchase. All right. So that's done. 
Now I'm going to Okay, and I'll put that right in the center there, like that. I don't know, I might fill it up with lace. Don't know yet. Okay, so I also pulled out some bling here. Just some rhinestone bling that I had left over from Prima. And this is uh, adhesive bling. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay it right in there. Well, I'll pull it up. I'm going to lay my swirl down first. Ah, there we go. And just like that fall and cut that little piece off right there. There we go. And then I'm going to take this piece and We'll see how this looks. We'll take one. So you never have to use your bling um, when you buy it the way it is intended. You can cut it up and use it differently in different places and in different ways. So. I'll lay that down like that. Lay that down like that. There we go. There we go, we have a bling laid down. Now I'm going to play with a couple of these flowers that I've made. I'm going to put one right in there like that. So do I want, there we go, I'm going to put that one right there, put this one right in there like that, cute. Now let's see about chipboard. Pulled out a few pieces here. Do, 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 do. Probably going to put that in there. Put me a little bird. But I'm going to fill it up a little bit more. Okay, I've got these. Um, rosebuds here I thought were pretty and these are from 
wild orchid crafts. And let me get my oh, something fell. Where are my snippers? There. I don't know yet. I just don't know. Maybe put one down there. one right in there like that okay and we'll put some pearls in the center of that put some Kirby's pearls let's see what I have that too small? Nah. I think it's just right. And these are a pale pink um, pearl, curl, pearl color. I'm just thinking here. Hmm. Definitely need some sort of bling. I know that much. Looks cute the way it looks. Decisions, decisions. Where was that other piece that I picked out? Like you can do a A regular tag. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go dig for some other Trotskys. Um, I have an idea of what I want. I don't know if I'm liking this pink flower. I don't know if it's too pink. Um, I'm going to go find me uh, the handmade flowers that I've done and uh, pull out, like I said, a few more. Sometimes when you you get an idea of what you're wanting to do and it does I mean I like this part but this flower is throwing me off a little bit so I don't I'm just going to play around with it and um, I will be right back to show you the results of it okay so hang in there okay um this is what I decided to do on the front. I used a lot of the uh, embellishments, the chipboard embellishments that come with the uh, collection. And um, 
I used some um, bling and pearls and some uh, just flowers and everything. I made a little tassel deal here on the side with different ribbons. And as you can see, and then I filled it up with all sorts of laces and pinned it, you know, pinned them in there, wrapped um, each page uh, with lace and stuff. And um, now I am going to close it. And I've been trying to figure out how I want to do it. I think simply what I'm going to do is use a real pretty piece of a uh, lace here and get a long piece and um, we'll feed it <clears throat> through here like this now this will be uh, available in my Etsy for purchase and all of the laces come with it. I've chosen some real pretty ones. And now what I'm going to do. Let's see. Let's go through here. So stay for detailed photos at the end of the video. The link to my Etsy will be in the description box down below. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Um, and let me know what do you think of this project. And don't forget to go to my blog at www.angelaholtdesigns.com to purchase, not purchase, to get the uh, template free. And um, and now what you can do is just tie it like this and tie it in a bow like so. Clip you off some ends here, and there you have it, ladies. Isn't that cute? It's jump pack. It's too, too cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I might go ahead and put that on there because I like bling. But, as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also, be sure to share this and leave comments. The more shares and likes I get, the, the more it helps me and my channel. So, um, I appreciate that. And I hope whomever purchased this will enjoy the laces inside and everything. And I will sign the inside of it. So, look forward uh, to creating more crafty projects, ladies, because I have a lot planned. But thank you again and bye-bye.